Finding microorganisms can be equally as frustrating for students and for teachers. The important thing to remember when you're dealing with microorganisms is that they are often shipped to you or transported in some manner. Being living things, microorganisms do not like to be shipped. They do not like to be moved from their natural environment. You can easily find the microorganisms if you know where to look. For novices, I recommend something called a demo slide. These are culture tubes with a very thin end. Simply put the thin end on the microscope, focus, and locate your microorganisms. These are great for when you're doing a demonstration to show the students what they're looking for before they get started. Then simply take the top off and use a pipette so students can take a sample to look at themselves. Now, if you receive culture jars, because you need a larger sample, you need to know where to look within the culture jars to find the microorganisms. Some microorganisms love light, dim light or maybe even bright light. Others abhor light and will move away from it and actually form a small ball or in other ways protect themselves from the light source. For the most part, algae, of course, being a photosynthetic organism, love light. Maybe not intense light, but they do love light. The protists, the animal-like organisms often do not like light. The other thing you need to know is where within the ecosystem are they found? Algae are usually easier to locate as they float freely, usually along the top of a pond or a lake. The protists really, um, for the most part, like to either be near or attached to debris within a pond or a stream or a lake. So you need to know how they get their energy, whether they're photosynthetic or whether they eat other organisms, where they like to live within their ecosystem, and whether or not they like light. By knowing those things, you can simply locate within the culture itself whether the organism is going to be found in the bottom, the top, or along the sides. Knowing these things will make those microorganisms easier for you and your students to find.